please tell me that you are not one of these people who say we can't celebrate Christmas right now. Like, I believe <laughs> I would start doing it in August if I could. I thank you so much. Okay, so I'm, I actually really love this question because I've been starting to see some Christmas stuff pop yes, up, as yes. we all have been. <laughs> and I have a little bit, it has, let's, uh, let's quote Mary Kondo here, is that her name? It has sparked joy. <laughs> because I have two little girls that are three and one just turned five. And time is, it's going too fast. It really is. I could honestly, I could get emotional about it right now. It's Aww. going too fast. And I wanted to slow down. So if, if the Christmas season can like drag out a little bit more, yes, I'm all for it. So that's why we're doing holiday collection in November. We yes. starting it off right. Starting it off right. What was the I'm getting my Christmas tree. I think we're doing like the Thanksgiving Christmas tree this year. I think oh, so. On, do it even before. Be a really? Rebel. Yeah. Go next. <laughs> that's <week>. just insane. <laughs> oh my god. Your girls would blow their would like blow their lids if you came and brought a Christmas tree next week. Well, I, I, yeah, yeah, I'd blow my own mind if I did that because they're heavy and it's hard to no. Um, it's it's gonna take prep. I think Thanksgiving is maybe a uh, yeah. So when do you start like? having inspiration for the holiday line then since oh, we're in November Oh, it's super now. weird yeah. because you have inspiration, you have to have inspiration for the holiday line in like July of the year before. So you're like, <laughs> I don't know. And thankfully I work with, you know, this amazing designer, um, co-designer at New York and Company and they kind of are, all, they're all over trends. Cause I'm, I don't really, I'm not a, I don't follow the trends so much. I kind of follow just what I love. And I follow, um, just kind of, uh, I go by by feeling, by emotion, mm -hmm. like, you know. Uh, but yeah, so I have to start designing for holidays in July, which is like, you know, doesn't feel right. <laughs> so I turn up the AC, well I would, anyway, it's July, and right. I, you know, play some Christmas music, we really did. Did you? Yeah, we did, and then I was kind of like, oh, okay, Red Leopard? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, well, <laughs> you look very holiday-ish with you. a little flair. Yeah. Do you guys have holiday traditions at home? Do you? Um, we, we do. Um, you just made me think about my, my brother who I, who I lost three years ago when I was um, pregnant with my little one. But uh, one of the holiday traditions we used to have was that at like Thanksgiving dinner, he would like roast everybody, which was so fun. Aww. And um, and not fun too, because he'd always cross that line. So that was that was a fun one. We haven't done it since uh, since he passed. Oh, we go big, we go Christmas. You, Latin, like Cubans like to do the night before. Like we don't, we, we kind of split the, the American and the Cuban, you know uh -huh. what I mean? Because we have the big dinner on the 24th, Noche Buena. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a big, big dinner. Dinner, and then Cubans like to open their presents that night, but we kind of Americanize it because Christmas morning is so special. Yeah. So we do presents at Christmas morning. Nothing like those faces, those little yeah. faces on Christmas morning when they're yeah. like, ah. Yeah, that's ah. special. Brian's birthday, how do you celebrate? Oh my gosh. Um, I'm doing something really fun, but I'm not, I'm obviously not going to say. Okay. So, so, I mean, because, well, it's a <laughs> surprise. I don't go big, mm -hmm. um, but I go. You go thoughtful. Uh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. That's I, better. Yeah. I don't go big, but I, I, I go uh, profound. Oh. And, um, yeah. Emotional. You have these little ones, and yes. they're precious. But you have to figure out now. You're a working mama. So how do you take that work, that style that you have to have as a mom mm -hmm. and transition it into when I need to be mom, when I need to be at work? How does that style go? Ooh, that's why I came out with a line of t-shirts a couple years ago. Smart I girl. didn't, yeah, I didn't do t-shirts before um, uh, in the line and a couple years ago, I was like, uh, guys, uh, we need to right. throw in some more casuals and how about some t-shirts? <laughs> and it was literally, my first one was, uh, it said Cuba Libre, which means oh, free nice. Cuba, yes. you know, obviously. Um, um, but uh, but so we came out with some Cuban theme and then Miami theme T-shirts. But that really that's my day to day for for reals. I'm I'm not really wearing this <laughs> red leopard at home. Okay, so let's talk about the collection then. Let's talk about some favorite pieces. And what like is your favorite piece? If you know we're gonna have a date night. Yes. Well, I think, you know, the red leopard of it all. I really do love this dress because it has, it's so great. It's gorgeous. Because it's just like, you know, you're wearing red leopard. You're, 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 you know. It's all you need. You really don't need to say anything else. I just want it all. 
<laughs> okay, take it. That's it. Take it off. And we're wrapped. I'm starting Body here. Body suits. I'm starting okay, here. Okay, here we because go. Because I love her. I love her, and I love that you say her because I call all my dresses she, her. Yes, she. Yes, she. So Hello, I love Mary. her. Her name and is I, Mary. Hello. <laughs> is she not Maria? Maria. I think yes, she's she more is. of a Maria. Um, but I love a cinch at the waist. I think that's always yeah. really important with all my clothes. I always have the option, at least, like if, with this dress. Mm -hmm. um, I love a sweater set. Yeah. I just love a sweater set. I wish I that just, people could feel this because it's yummy. It's just so, so soft. It's so soft. This is a great knit. And then the bodysuits. When I, I was telling you a little bit about the bodysuit, mm -hmm. I started the line with the bodysuit. Sorry, I didn't mean to cover your face. Right. Right. So I started the Sorry. line. With, <laughs> so I started the collection with bodysuits yes. six years ago because this is what I lived in in high school, mm -hmm. not this one. But I just was like a bodysuit girl. Anyway, and six now, years Eva later. Now, Eva does a G-string with her bodysuits. I do do because this is what women want. Yeah. This is what I like always line. I always ask women. I read all my comments on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Well, I I ignore some of them, <laughs> but I read most of them that have to do with the clothes. Yeah. And women are like, "Please, we want the the G-string bodysuit. I prefer the full, but that's just me, but well, I give the women what they want. Some of us have want. junk, so we don't like the indentation. We no, want to, I I, we I want hear that you clean and look back here. I hear you and then uh, here we go, a little off the shoulder. I do like her. And I just thank you for saying her. Yeah. I, do. I love her because look at the little polka dots, but I also do. like I just I, I love a sweater. I love and a sweater. I love a chic the, pant, and this cigarette red. pant is. And I know it's obvious to go red for the holidays, but it's the holidays. Why I can't. Not? I want to sparkle. I want to go red. I want to like you know give it a little glitter. Speaking and of, a glam. come on, pink. I mean, really, she's so beautiful. Come on, pink. And great on any skin tone. This the, sleeve the three quarter. is yeah. That sleeve yeah. is big. I know. I don't like my elbows. I think I have really weird elbows, so I like to Eva cover them. Eva does not like her elbows. I don't like my elbows, never did. Every other part of you no, is perfect. No, you no, no, well, like I have elbows. issues with her and Diva, but my elbows are covered tonight. Ha, 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 you can't see them. Um, but they're just, they're always like, they look dirty. Mm -hmm. They always look dirty. And and then dirty elbows at 45 is not, not cute right now. At least you know. Okay, listen. Dirty I, elbows. Yeah, dirty elbows in general, but dirty elbows at 45 is <laughs> not even cute. Worse. Yeah. So can I, I just cover go back to this for a second? Because the word that comes to my mind when I see this is lux. Like Ooh, it's very I like, like that, lux. right? It's yes. Luxurious. I it just is. love it. it I is. feel like that I could be like in Aspen in front of a fire in okay. this. Okay. Like sipping hot cocoa. So what's one of your favorite pieces if you're gonna have a girls' night out? Ooh, I think. Um, you know, I, this is, I would do this without the tie. Gotcha. You know, Just kind flowy. of like that flowy. I like flowy. Yeah. I like an all you can eat dress, you know? <laughs> That's what I call this dress. Yes, but you know? <laughs> so I think I'd go, you know, yeah. If you're going to go on a red carpet, what's your favorite? Well, red carpets, my God, I've, I haven't done red carpets in so long, and um, I kind of, you know. We they, miss they, you, by the way. Oh, that's very sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't miss you. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that with all the love, I love it. in the world. Uh, I mean, I mean I, you as in the general, you know, yes, yes, of course you, I miss your face, your beautiful face, but uh, yeah, they're stressful. If I can skip one, uh, I do. <laughs> what, what would it take to get you back in to the movies, to get you back on a red carpet? What's the kind of role that, that could bring you back? Uh, I don't know, but I'm 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 really honestly now I'm now that they're getting a little bit bigger, yeah. and now that I see that they are actually you and I were talking about this before mm -hmm. the cameras were on, but they're actually, you know, they're going to school and they're having a bit more autonomy. Yeah. Um, so they don't they of course they need me. They're they're still little, but I, I'm starting to feel more freedom to kind of be like, okay, what am I open to now? Right. Um, so, you know, it just takes a special kind of project. Okay, so the know? closet door isn't completely closed. It is not closed completely. It, no, it is not. I, I'm actually excited to, to find something. Do you see your fashion style kind of influence your girls, or are they figuring out their own style they're on their so own? They're so cool because they're so, like, they're so free, yeah. you know, and it's so beautiful. And I never like, I don't push like dresses. I don't push anything on them. And then I'm just like, you want to wear, you want to wear your jammies to the market? Wear your jammies to the market. As long as you're like not going to be, you know, you, you need a, if you need a coat or if you need to be, you know, 
like appropriately dressed for the climate. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. And now they have their, you know, Halloween costumes. Um, my little girl wore her uh, puppy Halloween costume to class today, and oh. I was like. Why not? Roof, roof. I know, used to just... wear long johns and boxers. Yeah. Like long johns with boxers, or my mother would be like, ah, uh, and but she but just the said, freedom. Do it. That's so great, because really, when can you, you can't, I mean, you can do that today, but really you can't. Have you walked into your closet yet and they're in there playing dress up? No, they like wearing my shoes. They like wearing my shoes, which is, which is, uh. is cool, but I'm like, okay, you, you know, you feel a little like I just, they're, they're still babies, but they do, and they bet they're good balancers. So I was thinking getting them stilts, mm -hmm. like turn it into a craft, you know, I turn like it that. into something. Make some money, baby. Make some <laughs> <laughs> do something, get a trade. Y'all gotta get a skill. <laughs> get a skill, exactly. Exactly. Um, I loved your Instagram post when you were posting about needing, trying to figure out a way to get, sneak away for a second and yes. have some me time. What is me time? look like when you get that me time. Mm, this is it, <laughs> yeah. No, it's kind of true, work has become me time, yeah. which is kind of fun again. Um, but me time is, uh, you know, I'm kind of a sucker for a new, I love taking advantage of like uh, a new kind of, any kind of facial treatment, mm -hmm. any kind of um, appeal, a um, radio frequency treatment. Ooh, I like that, that stuff. That sounds good, radio yeah, frequency it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a theory, if it hurts, it's gonna have better yeah. results. I don't know if that's a real Well, this theory skin of yours on. is delicious, so oh, whatever you're you. doing, we need Look it step you. by step. You, uh, I have a, an amazing woman, her name's Mariana Vergara. She's just amazing and she works at Blush in Beverly Hills. And really, it's about finding that person that you click with and that knows your skin. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, I just, I find that like fun as, as I get older. It's kind of like, oh wait, I can take advantage of technology and all the fun stuff we have available. Keep your eyes on the road, cowboy. Are you nervous? So you were in Too Fast, Too Furious. I was. Right? Could, could like a franchise like that, could they entice you back? Cause that franchise is crazy. It is crazy. Um, and it's ongoing, know. like forever and ever. I know, I, I don't, I don't know. Cardi's I, in I this next say... one. Cardi B's in this next one coming up. Oh, amazing. Advice for her venturing okay. into that franchise. <laughs> She's, I need advice from her. Right, she, she doesn't wild. need advice from me. <laughs> um, wow, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. yeah. Do you have advice? Because she's starting to really dip her toe uh -huh. in to acting, yeah. and now she's getting into that franchise yes. like that's so huge. Do you have any advice for her, anything that you... I mean, really, I think Cardi B's just, I think she's good. She, she's got it. Right, right. She really does. She's, um, I, I'm just, she's the best. You'd never reprise your role? You'd never? I mean, you know, I, I just feel like in a way for me, just my personality, uh -huh. not about that specific um, project. Um, I feel like kind of when I'm done with something, I'm kind of done with it, yeah. but who knows? But that's just how I am in general. I'm just like, I, I did that, cool, okay, what else? Move it along. What I realize is I have been screwing up for years. Yes. Saying your name wrong. Years. I mean, okay, so, so give me a tutorial. How are we really supposed to say it? Well, it is actually my fault because I wanted to be very like Americanized, like in junior high school and high school. I was like, it's Eva, right? So that was those years. So that's what, okay, junior okay. high years, you were Eva. Then like in like my 20s, I was like, well, I'm really like, it's more of Ava, really. Right. You know, like Eva would be, that's not my name. Um, so I went through the Ava years and I think now I'm finally starting to correct people. Like it's really Eva. It's really Eva. Because I'm Cuban. Right. <laughs> I'm Cuban. It's not Eva, it's not Eva, it's Eva. Eva. You say that beautifully, Thank by the you. way. Perfect. Eva. Eva. I and love if it. you wanna like be sweet or like, you know, you can say Evita. Evita? Yeah, that's like old like little Eva. Oh, oh it's cute. I like that Evita. <laughs> but I honestly don't care, so if you end up calling me Eva, that's totally fine. No, Eva. That's I'm saying it like that. Is that, what, is that how your mom says some it? fire. Ooh, my mom says it a little differently. <laughs> yeah. My mom says it with a little weight, you know? She says it still. Eva! Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, you sure you're not Cuban? I listen, I'm close enough, close right? enough. Exactly. <laughs> I will take it all. 